All right, on this week's home flipping adventure, we are in our latest and greatest Airbnb property. Um, the problem is that we need to get this house done and I don't have anybody right on hand that can finish it. So we were a little bit slow in the office today and we are here to get our hands dirty and just knock this out so that we can get this house listed on Airbnb and VRBO and everywhere else we're listing it on because we need this house to start being an income generating property. So. We are also here without Glenn today. Um, we are dividing and conquering. He's back at the office taking care of stuff there and we are here in Saratoga Springs. For those of you that don't know this area, Saratoga is kind of the place to be if you're in um, this area of New York, upstate New York in the capital region. It's kind of the, eat, the place to, to eat, play, and live. <laughs> and um, it's also the big horse track we have the big horse track here. The, so during the month of August, I mean, this place is just hopping. So during that month, what we'll do for this particular property is we'll actually block out track season. And just on this one property for six weeks during track season, we can probably get on the low side, probably $15,000 just for that season. On the high side, because this is such a nice house and it's gonna look so amazing when it's done, it's four bedrooms and two baths and you know it's got this awesome master suite we might be able to get upwards of, of closer to 20 grand which you know that's gonna pay a big part of our mortgage down on this house so it's gonna be a really good income producing house but I need it done I need it to get on the market so you can see all of the kind of chaos around here there's a ton of boxes that we need to finish up and we've only got until about 4.15. I have my project manager here to take care of all the odds and ends. This is Neil. Hi. I have my oldest son, Dakota, that's here. He is our right-hand man. Dakota actually runs the Airbnb side of our business for us, so this is cool for him too, because the faster this gets on the market, the faster he can start making money too. And then we also have Chris here, who is on our uh, home flipping workshop team, but all hands on deck. We're all gonna be putting stuff together and cranking this out. So we've got three hours to get this done. And because I have to get back because our 15 year old Dakota sister has a seniors night basketball game tonight. So we want to get back and see that. So we've really got a crank here. So let's get rocking and rolling. Obviously we have to get all these boxes unpacked. The kitchen's fairly well done. All the dishes are washed and put away. There might be a few little odds and ends we have to do there, but um, you'll notice as we're going around that I'm doing a lot of horse art again, because this is Saratoga and it's known for the horse track. Um, I wanted to again, kind of give this house that theme too because that's going to help this house run out uh, more quickly to have a theme like that. This is a bunk bed and I need this put together like ASAP so that'll be your first project. I'll probably have you start on this Chris and then I'll have Dakota start on something else but there not, might be points where you need to call him in if you need a two person thing to, to lift some stuff up and get it put together. So this room is super tight though. I, I measured it. It should fit this way. Um, so that we have room to open the closet door still and then there's I thought she already put it together Maybe not there's supposed to be a dresser right here, too So we might have to put that dresser together, too Let me get, I'll look at the boxes and, and figure that out. All right, let's go look at the next room So this room is also small, but we were able to fit a queen-size bed in here and one nightstand I had an extra nightstand left over, but it just won't fit I tried this bed every single way possible and it just won't fit so we've got one nightstand we're gonna put shelves in the closet because we don't have room for a dresser in here but that'll give them room to stack some stuff I think I'm gonna have to have him hang this higher because that looks a little ridiculous right there I don't like that at all it looks way too low <laughs> and then we got to get curtains hung up that's another big project that we have to do today so this room is looking really good this room is a good size we had plenty of room for both nightstands we have a dresser there's a big closet. We've got Neil here hanging the art up, um, and then we got to get the curtain rods up, and then this room should be done and get the bedding put together. You should have seen this house before. I mean, we had to rip this whole house apart because there was asbestos in the sheetrock, which is another reason we had to hold on to it for so long because there was a lot of red tape with the city that we had to get through with that and whatnot. So I am so freaking excited about how nice this house came out, though. It came out absolutely beautiful. I think it's going to be a super exciting Airbnb property for us. All right. Now, the crown jewel in this house, though, is the master bedroom. Let me, let me go show you. So down here, this was nothing but a basement before. There was nothing here. So it was such wasted space, and none of the bedrooms upstairs were that big. So I said, you know what? Let's take this whole basement, except for a small utility area, and turn it into living space. It was a pretty easy thing to do. It's an easy decision to do. So we have this humongous master bedroom. It fits a king-size bed a desk and a sitting area and a dresser and you know all that stuff 
and you, wait till you see this bathroom. And we have this humongous bathroom with two big, I mean this one is like, you know, a good size closet in and of itself. Check out this one. Is there a light in here? Look how awesome this closet is. Who wouldn't want this closet? Might have been a little overkill for the Airbnb, but there was room for it, so we did it. You know, and then we have this beautiful shower with a curtain rod that I don't think that's gonna work. Do you think that's gonna work with the shower curtain that high? I think we might need <laughs> I think we might need to adjust that. But you know, you got your own separate little water closet over there. Check out this vanity. Isn't that beautiful? This house just turned out great. I can't wait to see it when all the furniture's in. So let's go get to work on putting some stuff together. Let me move this dresser over because I gotta have room to put those chairs too. Did you wanna put the chairs right here? Like right by the outlet? We'll try in there. Um, the other one right here, yeah. So the main point of the Airbnb is hospitality. So whatever you have at your own house, you'd wanna have at the Airbnb just to make them feel like they're at home. That's why we're putting together whatever it is. What is this, Amber? Um, it's just a little table that goes in the bathroom. Right. I like to put um, towels on and that kind of stuff. That looks this, super weird right there. These don't tilt though. They, they don't tilt down. These are the brackets that you got for the thing. They just they come out. It looks really weird that low. Well, you move it up, but then, then you're gonna run into issues with this. I'll see how it looks when the curtains go up and everything's done in here. I, I don't like it right now. Plus, I think people are gonna bang into it right there. I, mean, I can get around this. Yeah, I'm pretty petite, but I can get around it. <laughs> Yeah. I, well, I, let's, let's get this I think stuff. I'm going to want to move. Yeah, let's, let's get this stuff. <laughs> I, I think I don't like it. <laughs> Let, let's look at that one downstairs, though. To be centered on the bed, it should be more like here anyway. It's like way off center, too. So let's take a little, we'll move this one and patch the hole. These are just way too low. I'm going to start putting some curtains up in here. Yeah, this has to look classy in here. This house is going to demand a higher dollar just because of where it's at. Hey, Amber. Yeah? We have a problem. There are no problems, only solutions. This mattress is the wrong size, it looks like. Well, that is a problem. What the heck? It's a twin bed. Maybe it's because it's memory foam. It expands a little too much. Maybe if I just get a- Regular low mattress. Low profile, regular mattress. And then you can get like a- Hopefully it'll fit. You can get one of the memory foam like toppers too. Yeah, to make it soft. So the good news is that we have this, but we have two other Airbnbs that we're about to open. So we can just use this in one of those houses. Yeah. Figure it out. But the wrapper's off, so it's gonna be fun to move without getting dirty. <laughs> so here's kind of a pro tip for you. Um, instead of unscrewing the ends off of the curtain rods, you can just take it apart like this, slide your curtains on, like so. And then the other thing I like to do is, you know how when you pull a curtain shut and like, you know, this side will go here and then you gotta fix that side? The trick is to make sure at least one or maybe two of the rings is on the outside of the bracket so it won't go any further than that. So just a little little trick of the trade here. We got a lot done today. We did. It's amazing how much you can accomplish when you set your mind to it. Yeah, we you know, and we got here and we hustled. Mm -hmm. We got the curtains up. Yep. We got the bunk beds made. Yep. I got some recliners out front. The front of the house needed some curb appeal. Yeah, it was, yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, you know, it doesn't help that we're in the middle of winter, but yeah. it still needed some color. So I think those chairs and little table out there will look cute. Yeah. Make, make the pictures look good for the Airbnb, mm -hmm. you know. So yep, we got curtains hung. Kitchen's pretty well put together. We have a lot of garbage that needs to get out. But I think one more day, a few hours here, and we are like ready to take pictures. Good. And get it listed. Good. So. That is the end of this home flipping adventure. Um, I'm, like I said in the beginning, I'm so excited to get this on the market and get it on the market to Airbnb, I mean, not yes, on the market me too. to sell. Um, this house turned out beautiful. I can't wait, like after it's cleaned and the beds are all made and everything, mm -hmm. the bedspreads are on and the pillows and everything. I think you're gonna stay busy with this Airbnb. Me too. Right? Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs>